guys, welcome back to the garage, man. Today, Bravest is wearing a red shirt. That's weird, isn't it? Finally, I got a damn shirt. Welcome. Yeah, go to hell, you douchebag. I should have 10 of them. Anyhow, I, um, I, now I don't want to get it dirty because this is literally my only red one, so. But I wanted to wear it for the video at least. But uh, today, first thing, I need to do some catching up on opening some packages, man. We've uh, kind of accumulated quite a few. Oh, shoot, I don't know what that is. Yeah, so we have accumulated a few boxes. Matter of, there's still a big one in there. This one has been here for a really long time. Uh, this is for Braven. I was waiting for Braven to come back home to open it, but he never came back home. So now a lot of this stuff is from you guys, but a lot of this stuff is from like companies as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just go through all of it. So we'll get through the company products first. This right here is a set of front coilovers to replace the ones that we're having problems with. If you guys remember, the new and improved coilovers from Max Speeding Rods, the front, they wouldn't go low enough. So they're saying that they fixed the problem. So we'll have these sitting here. I gotta figure out what car exactly I'm gonna put them on. Um, but yeah, we'll have to test those out and see. This right here, came, I'm not gonna open this right now, but this came from Giraffe Tools. This is actually really dope, dude. We're gonna do a full install and review video on this. Uh, it's a 2200 PSI pressure hose reel with a hundred foot pressure hose like this thing is dope, bro This um, is a pressure washer that we're gonna be able to mount on the wall Bro, this thing's gonna mount on the wall and then we just run uh, water straight to it um, And then we'll just always have a pressure washer sitting here I don't have to always go back and forth grabbing my pressure washer out. So yeah, this is gonna be a future video and a box of coilovers from max speeding rods these are obviously a brand new set of coilovers that is for one of the cars i wonder what car it could be for huh again that's gonna be a whole nother video so i'm not gonna open these up right now all right so this box um i think i know what's in this i'm not 100 percent sure we're gonna go ahead and open it up find out oh my god peanut oh yeah this is exactly what i thought it was this is a traction bar for uh braven zg for uh What's the name of that car again? Venom. Venom. Yeah, I'm, it's been so long. I don't even remember the name of the damn car. So yeah, that's a traction bar for Venom. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that'll get installed one day. Who knows? I don't know if there was a note with this one. Um, this came from one of you guys to the P.O. box, but the package was kind of like open. I wasn't sure what it was. But yeah, this is a dryer. So we'll be able to put this on the compressor out there in the booth, and this will actually catch all the water and everything. So I'll stop cussing and yelling and throwing shit whenever I'm trying to paint something. <laughs> a lot of these, I kind of thought they're probably for Braven is the reason why I hadn't opened them. Yeah, see? These are uh, Acura Integra uh, emblems. Oh, this came from EFB Motorsport. Damn, dude, this has been sitting here for quite some time as well. Huge shout out to EFB Motorsport. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. Um, again, this just kind of ended up with all the packages that I kind of thought were for Braven, but this is a 3D printed uh, little vent to go right here on Khaki. And of course, I don't have my vent in there because I don't have one. So, oh my God, look at that, it's already in. What is that, like three days? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so we got some more packages. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, for, no, I'm not gonna open these up right now. This is gonna be a dedicated video for LMC, obviously. But yeah, um, there's also, I think, I don't know what's in these ones, but I can tell that there is a much bigger box that's probably gonna be coming with it here pretty soon so we're gonna wait for that to come in we'll open all this stuff up obviously separate with its own dedicated video damn it man now i'm excited to open that <laughs> yeah there, there's a, a really big box that should be coming as well so i just think that's hilarious that they'll show up like while we're opening up packages oh we got a little mounting little mounting brackets for that uh efb motorsport center console thing uh Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll get that installed better later. Moving on. It's <gasps> a knife, bro. Dude, that is so freaking dope. 
<laughs> yes, please do. Most certainly, if you guys ever want to send me anything, man, knives are like my shit. I absolutely, I used to collect knives. Let's see what the note says. So there is actually a note with this one. It says, uh, got tired of how not sharp your knife is. Actually getting dangerous, LOL. But anyway, it's just a cheap one because I hardly have any money for my own shit. Ha ha. Insta at Nate and his shit box. Actually, I'll use it. I, I was already using a different knife. I don't know if you noticed. But this one is a lot sharper than my Gerber. But I can't. Well, this is a Gerber also. But I can't find my other Gerber. I think someone stole it. Ow! Move it on. Oh, these are little like screw covers. So like you put the screw in and then it's got a little thing that goes over and it pops shut. Now you could use these to finish off door panel screws just to make it look a little better. I enjoy all your projects. I think you do a great job. I always look forward to more videos from Roger. Okay, so those are for uh, door panels. That actually is pretty sick. That would look clean. But I've got a whole lot of door panel screws. <laughs> But I guess that would look really clean though. Put that in there and then close it up and just be a bunch of little black buttons. Hell yeah, I'll probably do that. Rock out of one? Oh. <laughs> You're like, I've been wondering though what the hell is in this. Side marker, headlamp, front, whoa. Oh, bro, that's sick, dude. I know exactly what these are gonna be. That is freaking dope. These are gonna be the side marker uh, lamps for the S10. Look at that, man. I thought you guys all hate the S10. Somebody is sending me stuff for it. That's freaking sick. Damn, look at that freshy boy. The S10's all the way the hell out there. Oh, you know what, I'm doing it. This is actually really exciting, bro. This is gonna add, this is gonna make the front end of the truck just look a lot cleaner. Look at this. Look at that faded out boy. And look at that freshy. That's what's up. <laughs> well, there's no name or anything on the uh, invoice, but thank you whoever it is that sent this out bill to oh Jermaine Jermaine Barnes So I, I think that's the name of who sent it uh, if it is huge shout out to Jermaine if it's not Jermaine Then I apologize huge shout out to whoever sent these because I'm most certainly gonna put those to use ASAP I need to get those on the trucks. That's gonna make a world of difference. Yeet! You happy? I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. Oh shoot, it's got a battery in it? Huh? Oh. It's open. Hope you guys like the single DIN touchscreen radio. I have it in my 1986 Chevy S10 Blazer. Works great. Wanted to help out the channel since you don't have a radio in the S10. So I got you guys one. Keep up the great work and love the content coming out. Hope you're still putting to use the rib nut tool and drill buffer set I sent out a while ago. Dude, hell yeah, I use those like all the time. Uh, take care and best wishes, Ro Rosendo. This is a dope ass little freaking radio, bro. Hell yeah, Rosendo. Is that, is that how you say it? I don't know who I feel it. like a douchebag, dude. Yeah, he would be an ace. Rosendo. That's how it says it's pronounced. I'm saying it right. The correct pronunciation of your name. <laughs> bro, this is sick, man. I'm actually really excited about that. That's what's up. Oh, it's got a little remote control. Yeet. Yeet. Oh shit, I made a mess. Ow! Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. Uh, this big ass box has been here for a long time. This is this is one that I knew was for Braven, so I was kind of waiting to like let him open it, but I mean you guys, you guys know. He ain't gonna be opening it anytime soon, but this is a this is a factory wing for the DA. And a set of mud flaps. Oh shit. Low rider mud flaps. <laughs> That's what's in your house. Thanks for the freaking spider webs, homie. Thank you. Better not be sending no new species of spiders to Phoenix. Alright? No. <laughs> Where'd this come from? Yeah, note says, hey guys, first off, sorry this took so long to send. Uh, make use of them, and I hope you both are doing well. Keep pushing and working hard. Included are the front mud guards and wing. If people want to follow someone who can't make up their mind on IG, my handle is Drifty Bits Racing. <laughs> DB Fam Strong, that's what's up. Thanks again, brother. I most certainly appreciate it. Uh, who knows? Maybe one day he'll put them to use, put them on the car. But for now, we'll just go ahead and set it aside with the rest of his stuff. And that leaves one more box. This one says Fragili all over it.
Bro. <laughs> that is freaking sick, dude. What? Dude, that is definitely going in the podcast room, man. Or in the office, one or the other. What is the guy's name? Charlie. Charlie? A huge shout out to Charlie, man. He's the one that painted this. That is sick, man. Joe, look at that. You see what it says right there? Yeah, take that. I really appreciate it, Charlie. Huge shout out to you. Um, I'm gonna definitely hang this up either in the office or inside the podcast room or something. Definitely have got to spray khaki off really quick because it rained the other day I had khaki parked in the yard So I had to hurry up and move it But it was already covered in rain and now it's just got freaking you know the dirty water specks all over it but Yeah, now with the uh, 2j taken off I have a parking spot open So I figured I may as well go ahead and put khaki right there to see the problem with khaki bro Well with khaki and with Braven's DA That's why I have Braven's car out back in the booth is those cars are like both basically done. So every day whenever I come out here to work on something, those are the cars I always have to move. I have to like get them out of the way so that I can work in my workspace. <laughs> like, I don't know. I need to get a car cover for khaki as well. I wish I had another garage, bro, like out back that I can park the finished cars in, you know? So they're not always out here getting filthy, dirty, and have to be moved left and right. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and spray khaki off really quick. All right, so I have looked everywhere for my damn clock. I know I have a clock for the EF somewhere, but I have just, I have so much crap on shelves and in boxes and shit everywhere. Um, I don't know where it's at right now, but this, um, this little block off that EFB Motorsports sent us out, it actually has a spot to put a factory clock, bro, which is really dope. Um, but right now, the only thing I can find is a block off. So I guess we'll use the block off for now. And I mean, this one's not even freaking black, but it is what it is. I just wanna, I wanna use something. I need to go get an Allen wrench for the hardware he has on this. <laughs> bang, bang, what's up? What you know about that? Dude, if the clock fits in there just as good as this block off fits in there, that's actually pretty damn impressive, man. Not even gonna lie. All right, now over here on the sides, he has hardware built in as well. And this is gonna be for installing these little clips right here. So these clips are what's gonna actually be what holds it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these things on really quick and that should be all we gotta do in order to install this. All right, clips installed. Bang, bang, and our little clock block off. So now we just go push it into the car. See, I do have my little harness right here for the clock. So whenever I do find what the hell it is I did with my clock, then we can go ahead and plug that in. Bam. Hell freaking yeah, dude. Doesn't get any easier than that. What you freaking know about that? Dude. That's sick. That's freaking dope. I mean, of course it's gonna look a lot better whenever I get some gauges in here. 
well the wide band and then i don't know what other gauge i would put yeah if you guys want one like this i'll have the instagram on the screen of course just go hit him up bro and i think he has like a bunch of different variations like you can get it um like you got to go check for yourself but i'm pretty sure you can get it like without the clock you can get it without vents um, I think you can get it with three gauge pods. Um, I think you can get it with no gauge pods as well. I don't know. Just go check out the Instagram. Um, he has them all posted up. You know what I'm saying? And the quality of the parts just speak for themselves, dude. He's also the one uh, that made this headlight duct, which is soaking wet. Or it's because I just cleaned the car, right? <laughs> but yeah, he's also the one that made this headlight duct. So, yeah, if you're interested in... He has a lot of other EF stuff, too. All right, I want to try some of these things that roger just sent us um but it looks like it takes a countersunk screw like one of those like cone shaped head screws i don't know if the screws that i'm currently using on khaki or will work or not uh if they won't then i'll need to wait till i get more like different screws but all right let's take the screw out through there and then put it back in Hey, what you know about that, huh? That's pretty sick, dude. I like it. I mean, granted, I was kind of going with a whole exposed hardware look on this, but I don't know. I think with Khaki's whole new look, like with the uh, got rid of the Lexan windows and everything, I don't know. I think this is just a really nice finishing touch. So now I just have one, two, three, four, 10, 20, 60, 80, 90, 138 more screws to go. <laughs> All right, now let's go around and close all these suckers. It's a pretty cool look, man. I dig it. Oh, yeah. Probably going to take me just as long to go around and close all these as it took me to put them all on there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that looks bad at all, man. Put in the comments what you guys think, whether you think the uh, black little screw covers look better than just exposed screws or what but i don't know i think it's a uh, definitely different Ugh. i dropped a couple i don't want to lose any because i have a whole lot more to do because i was thinking i just have the door panels but hell no i got all the panels in the back as well <sighs> like if i'm gonna do that to all of them i may as well do all the back panels too <laughs> but i think i'll probably have to order some more because i have a whole lot of screws on this car i need to i need to put some right here that's for damn sure i've always hated these exposed screws right here you know what i'm gonna try that right now see if those will work right there dude because that would be sick Hell freaking yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hell freaking yeah, bro. That looks a lot cleaner without those damn screw heads showing, man. That has always drove me nuts. freaking hate me because i'm gonna work on my damn bike right now so um i've been wanting to do this that i've had these damn lights i showed them to you guys like many weeks ago i've had these little blinker lights sitting here um for some time now and i'd really like to get these things installed so um i'm just gonna get through this bro i know most of you guys don't care about my bike but that's all right 
I do. And it's something I need to get done. So if you guys haven't ever seen it before, these are the blinkers on the bike. So <laughs> why is there three wires in there? Is there three freaking wires in there? Oh my God, that's gonna be a problem. Watch, this thing is full of water. I noticed that. But right now there's no blinkers on and that is staying on. So I'm, I'm wondering if these are actually like um, supposed to be like a daytime running light for the front. Maybe that's the reason why it's got three wires running to the front. This has turned into an absolute wiring freaking nightmare. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I got all the old lights off. I got all this crap, all this busted up, broken shit off from the 70s. But the thing is, is I, I like temporary wired up all of the new lights. I, like I just twisted the wires, you know what I mean? On all four corners um, and just tested the blinkers. Whether you turn the left blinker on or the right blinker, all four blink. So. When you turn the left blinker on, the left and right blinks. When you turn the right blinker on, the left and right blinks. So um, I was looking it up and it says that you probably obviously have a short somewhere inside of your wiring. Ow! That or if this system runs some kind of some kind of turn signal box, like the box could be bad or something. Um, I will say that I remember one time whenever I was messing with the with this switch right here like just messing with the lights i mean this this was months ago i heard like a me like inside of there you know what i mean like electrical sound like as if something was like shorting out like i think maybe it got wet in there and when it got wet in there like and me messing with it i think just something shorted out so i don't know i'm gonna have to mess with it bro and get them working all right off with of that dang old rusty thing Good lord. Yeah, I mean, I might clean this up later, paint the bar black, paint the housing of the lights black. Anyhow, I, I know I've mentioned it many times that my ultimate goal in with this bike is to black out any chrome on it because I just, I want to get rid of the chrome completely. But for the time being, like, I just, I don't want to tear the bike all down right now. I have too many projects going on. One windshield bracket. And two windshield brackets. Another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed that I had the um, the double seat on. That's because I had planned on taking somebody on a ride. And that's the reason why I put the double seat on. But for the most part, I'll never have that seat on. I'll have the single seat because that seat is ugly as hell, bro. And with that seat, there's also these little foot rest things that go on the back. These I'm going to pull off as well because these ones are for me. But it also has these rear ones and that's for a passenger so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off as well i think it'll make it look a lot cleaner um of course i'm gonna keep them i'll put them up along with the double seat so if i ever get me any female that wants to ride on the back of this thing and go to sedona with me you know what i'm saying but until then that's coming off oh starting to look more like a bike jesus i'm gonna go ahead and put the hardware in though so i don't lose it So I didn't end up getting the blinkers on. We ended up just taking a bunch of stuff off, what can I say? But um, I will say, I think it looks a lot better without having all the broken blinkers on. Um, I do need to figure out where the short in the wiring is. Like I said, I really do think that it's gonna be inside of the switch right here because I did hear it make like a sizzle sound one day when I was messing with it. But um, yeah, the, the main thing that I was worried about this entire time is just, I have these lights just dangling back here with tape hanging off of them and shit, which just look terrible. Um, I got all those damn brackets and everything off. Got the three light setup thing off. I think I've like, dude, I really wanna take this off. I think it'd look a lot nicer without this thing on here but i do know that this is like 
a lot safer to have that on whenever you're riding in case you do set the bike down. Um, I don't think it really protects you, but it protects from damaging the bike as much. I don't know, either way, but um, yeah, I'm out of time now for messing with Pops. We gotta hit the road, dude. Gotta finish getting the rest of the stuff in the truck for the 2J and head out to the fabricator. All right guys, the 2J's all loaded up. Um, we got the subframe loaded up. I got all the control arms and the steering knuckles and stuff loaded up. Uh, yeah, dude, it's time to head out. We're on our way to the fabricator's house. Finally! Shiloh behind us now. I think it's funny anytime we're mobbing with Shiloh, we're literally driving two big ass white Suburbans, man. We're looking like, I, I want to say like we're freaking law enforcement or something, but screw that. Here's the subframe, sir. It's, it's already got the uh, hard bushings in it. And it's freshly spray painted, so you can't scratch it. Okay? Spray painted. Yeah, so don't scratch it. <laughs> no, it's spray painted, but yeah, no, you can scratch it. We'll touch it up. It's no big deal. <laughs> Shiloh just wanted it freshened up, you know what I mean? So yeah, you just no, did spray paint really quick. I'll be honest, I'm probably chopping these off. Yeah, no, he, he said you're probably gonna have to cut into it and whatever, but some more of your puzzle pieces. Bang, bang. So you said two to three weeks? Yeah. So two to three weeks, man. You heard it. He's saying it on camera right now. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, I'm gonna head out. You have everything you need. Uh, do you have an Instagram or something I can follow you up? JK Fab. JK Fab? Yeah. All right, I'll have it on the screen. I have it on the screen. Are you gonna post like little stuff like as you're working on the car or? Yeah. Maybe. I'll post some snippets and stuff. Yeah, some snippets? Some snippets. Hell yeah. So yeah, next time whenever we pick this thing up in two to three weeks, I, I'd say a month. This guy says two to three weeks, but. <laughs> I don't know. Next time whenever we pick it up, all this is gonna be completely different, man. All of Shiloh's, uh, what is that called? Futon. Yeah, all Shiloh's futon metal. Futon. <laughs> yeah, your futon frame back there. That's all gonna be out, and then this will be in, so. 
definitely exciting. Then uh, who's gonna do the first donuts? All right, guys, I'm gonna head out and get back to the house. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do smash the like button. Peace out, and see you guys tomorrow. No, hold on, today's Friday. Shit. Um, see you guys in the next video. I don't know when. Ow! Ow!